Uh, F5 project, we've been working a while on it. Um, it's been a big, big undertaking, um, especially for uh, the technology that we put into it, uh, the development we put into it, uh, as well as the design. We wanted to vent at the lower speeds or at, at no speeds when you're working really hard, you're in the super tight trails or the, the super tight trees. Um, you're working hard, you're putting off a lot of heat, putting out a lot of effort. Um, so this helmet we wanted to, we designed, it's more of a radiant heat loss effect, uh, which is basically letting the heat escape from the helmet without forcing it out. Uh, so the vents you see in the top of the helmet, we have four massive vents in the top of the shell um, that's plumbed all the way through the EPS. It's not just the shell to let as much heat out as possible to get that out, let it escape. Um, to give you a cooler head so you can ride longer and more focused. We obviously wanted to have a super lightweight helmet. Uh, carbon fiber provides the lightweight. It provides uh, superior impact management and energy management. Basically to complement the carbon fiber shell we have a three density EPS. Uh, basically what that means is we have three different almost three different EPSs in the helmet or three different sections of EPS that are all different densities. Uh, that's basically designed to give you the maximum protection at the lightest weight that we can do. How, how do we ventilate the helmet with this maximum ventilation but then also use it in the snow where it is already super cold? Um, and where you probably will a lot of times want to shut those vents off. Uh, we use a windstopper, a Gore-Tex windstopper liner. Um, basically it goes between the EPS and your comfort liner. Um, and what that does is it closes off all the vents. Uh, the good thing about it, as you all know, Gore-Tex and windstopper, uh, it's waterproof, breathable, and windproof. We decided to use Fidlock in the F5 uh, mainly because it, it's a super simple, super efficient closure system compared to D-rings. You just get it near where it needs to go and the magnet pulls it into place. That magnet actually guides the buckle. Um, it doesn't hold it in place. There's an actual mechanical lock mechanism that holds it in place uh, to give you that secure hold, um, which is DOT and ECE certified with the helmet restraint system.